everyone, welcome to another tutorial by Classic Craft Studio. I'm Rebecca and I wanted to show you a felting machine. So, as you can see, it looks very much like a standard sewing machine. A few major differences, first of all being there's no threads involved at all. So down here, where your bobbin would normally be, is just a fluff patching trap. And there's no threads, there's no tensions, there's nothing. It's a very super, super simple, easy machine. Um, you don't even have to put the first presser foot down when you're using it. We advise that you do, because you don't want to get your fingers caught. Um, but for the rest of it, it's a super simple machine. So the presser foot is at the back. Then you've got this as your finger guard. And then this little plastic guy here is adjustable. You can move it up and down according to what you're working on. You don't want it to sit flat on your fabric because you don't want to hinder your fabric being able to move. Um, but for the, it's just purely to try and protect your needle and to keep your fingers out the way. So the, knee, the felting machine comes with two different types of needle. The one that's in there at the moment is a standard single needle. Um, you undo the allen key hole here, use your allen key in the hole, and then you can replace that needle quite easily. With the multi-needle, so on for, this is the multi-needle that comes specifically with the Elna machines. I'm not sure, maybe they, you can use different machine brands in these machines. I haven't tried that yet. But I do know that with some of the machines, I think it's the Genome, not 100%, but I think it's the Genome, where you can change these needles individually. Whereas with the, the needles that come with the Elna machine, you can't. So when a needle snaps, and they do unfortunately snap quite quickly, quite easy when you, especially when you're first learning how to use the machine because you've got to get the tempo right um, in terms of how fast you move your fabric and how fast you're sewing because um, they're quite brittle these needles so when one does snap you have to then take a pair of pliers and snap it again right up at, at the top near the base and then you can carry on using it and you use I continue to use mine until all of the needles are snapped and then replace it um, yeah, so there's just one thing to know, that these needles are different according to the different machines. But for the rest of this, for the rest of it, these machines are such great fun. Hours of endless playing, and there's just so many different textures and techniques that you can create with this. Um, like I said before, it, it doesn't do 3D, in well, big 3D. You can do little flowers and that sort of thing. But for the rest of it, it's great fun. So I've just done a little example project just to show you, give you a basic idea of what it looks like when the machine is operating and how it behaves with the fabrics. Right, hope you enjoy. So we'll start with showing you something that's already crocheted. This is just single crochet and a spiral. So I can drop my guard down so this hovers just above the piece that I'm working on, finger guard down, pedal down, um, press a foot down, not that it really matters with a faulty machine, but just for two good habits. Okay. Now you really do just move, if you move too quickly, you're going to break your needles, so you want to go, just, you'll, you'll, you'll figure it out, but... There's the portion that I felted, and there's the portion that's not felted yet. So it's only very subtle at the beginning, probably more obvious from the back. So this, that's the felted part. Okay. That's your front. So you can still sort of see the crochet stitches. And the, the back is more obvious what's been happening. For 
felting on fabric so you don't want to use any kind of backing you want um the fabric not to be too tightly woven i wouldn't try this on a silk or something like that stick to a nice open weave cotton or i'll show you just now on a piece of denim also works so i've got my, my embroidery my fabric in my embroidery hoop as i would for machine embroidery so the fabric is going to lie flat against the machine plant okay put it in there get my finger guard out the way just raise that and make sure the needles are at the highest Okay, now I'm just going to stitch on some arbitrary pieces of fabric so you can see the different effects that it has. We're going to start with a piece of organza ribbon, like so. And this is completely arbitrary design, I haven't figured anything out yet, I just thought I would just show you what, what the effects are. So as you can see, the moment it goes in, sucks the fabric in like that. Okay, yeah, so I hold that down like that here. Okay, so it creates it's quite a dramatic effect on the organza ribbon. And that's with the five needles. Okay. Then I'll show you on just a normal piece of artificial satin ribbon. Similar thing. Okay, so you've got the general idea for the fabrics. Right now, we're going to switch to a single needle. So we've been working with a five needle. Um, so, bring out my single needle. I'll show you the single piece of very nylon, very artificial yarn that I bought in a charity shop. Um, <clears throat> came in a mixed bag for ages it sat in my studio I didn't really know what to do with it because it's not really the kind of yarn I normally work with then when I bought this machine I suddenly knew why I had this yarn in my life <laughs> so single needle and we're going to be felting onto the strand there So yes, yeah, starting to form a nice little pattern there. Oh, we can continue. 
So I'm going to show you. So that's we've gone through satin, we've gone through some organza ribbon, some satin ribbon, some taffeta. Now I'm going to take ordinary roving, that one would use for normal felting. Gosh, this rain's getting really heavy now. I hope you can still hear me. Right, so we're just going to make ourselves a bit of a strand there to work with. Yeah, and then you can start folding it into your. Just lower this a little bit there to see. Just for fun, we'll add some of the sparkly wool into the into the mix. Now we're going to go back to this little crocheted spiral, the felted crochet spiral that we made. And I'll just show you that you can also attach things like this to your fabric. textile artists that prefer to use the back of the work. They prefer this sort of fluffier effect that you get. So it's entirely up to you which side you want to use and how you want to decorate it. The other thing that's really fun to do is to do free motion embroidery on top of this.
really hope you enjoyed today's little demonstration on the felting machine. Um, if you did, please click on the like button and please consider subscribing to my channel for future videos. Thanks so much for watching.